Good day, everyone. Once you have carried out all the tests and carried keeping the safety precautions in mind, as per our previous lectures, it is time to carry out the first flight, a first complete flight of your drone. However, let's not get too excited and do all the different things. It is important to keep in mind that what you should do and what should what you should not do during your first flight. This will make sure that during the first flight itself, you do not go and damage any the drone or damage the surroundings around you. So in our today's lecture, we will look at what to do and what not to do in our first flight. Keep in mind all these things because it will help you a lot, especially when you have taken so much time and your trouble to actually make your first drone. So let's look at how do we carry out the first flight and what to do and what not to do in your first flight. <music> First, let's look at what to do during the first flight. First, have a good and a positive attitude. You should always be positive when you're flying a drone. It helps to you to remain calm and also be patient when you're flying the drone. It takes time for you to get accustomed to all the drone controls and so on. So be patient. You'll get an understanding how to fly the drone. First, hover in the place. You should start with first hovering in a particular place so that you understand how the stable the drone is, how it's respond, responding to your controls, how it's doing so when it is at a particular place. Once you are comfortable of hovering the drone at a particular place, then you should start rotating the quadcopter in a particular place. This will give you a sense about how the drone actually rotates 360 degrees around a particular axis. So you will understand whether the controls are working proper, which is the forward, backward, sideward conditions of the drone. Fly your drone in a square pattern. This will make sure whether you are able to fly the drone straight, take turns, and fly in a complete square pattern. This will start helping you get accustomed to the controls that you're having. Fly the drone in a circle. So you'll see how you can turn the drone. This is very useful, I found out, especially when you're turning around corners. So once you are accustomed to flying in a square and circle, you are able to do various maneuvers, just taking turns around corners or flying uh, in a circle or taking quickly taking the, uh, descending the drone and various others. So the square pattern and the circle pattern actually helps you out. Fly the drone at different heights. So I would request you suddenly don't take the drone to a very high height. What happens if you lose control, the drone will fly quickly from a certain height. Take the drone slowly, slowly and increase the height. So as you increase the height, you'll start getting comfortable with the drone controls and you'll see how visually you're able to get accustomed to the drone's position. So you'll visually be able to understand where the drone is flying and so on. Finally, pick two places where you can take off and repeatedly land and fly. This will make sure that you are able to pinpointly fly and land correctly, take off and land correctly. So this actually gives you an entire understanding of how the drone controls work how the drone takes off, lands, and so on. So this is the first do's that you should do when you actually start the first time flying off your drone. What not to do is something very important that you need to keep in mind. Do not fly over people. Select a place where you do not have to fly over people. Because what happens is sometimes if the drone loses control or if the drone suddenly falls off, it can actually hurt someone. So make sure you're not flying over people. Do not fly close to sports events or stadiums. So make sure you're not flying in areas which are near these sports events or stadiums because these areas are very much prone uh, to get damaged if the drone loses control or so. And you might actually face a fine if the drone goes and collides with these places. Also make sure you're not near any hospitals, airports. These are restricted areas, especially when you're flying. Also try not to be in a closed space. First be an open, first fly the drone in an open ground. See that there is a, an open ground or a playground where you can have the drone take off, land and fly around. So that the drone is within your visual line of sight, there is no obstacles and you can comfortably get accustomed to the controls around you. And finally, always be self-aware of the drone. Do not fly the drone under any sort of influence. This will actually make you lose control of the drone when you're flying. Always make sure you are self-aware of where the drone is flying and are situationally aware that, okay, this is how the drone is flying. So make sure you are not under any influence such as alcohol or so when you are flying the drone. This is very important. Thank you.